Hey Cancers, welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 1st to the 11th, and I'm, I'm playing around with angles here today, so let me know if you guys like this angle or don't like this angle. You can already tell this curl's gonna make me crazy. Anyway, Cancers, so for my newbies, hello, thank you for joining, thanks for subbing, viewing, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. Uh, the very first thing I like to do is I like to go over my meditative session, which is energy that I pick up in and around you, okay? So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly, or someone within your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to okay and it can be vice versa because it is energy then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll get into the tarot reading okay cancer so this meditative session is really interesting i didn't get too much but it was very clear what was going on i saw a crab like moving side to side and for those nerds out there who know what that means uh, that's a mating call <laughs> That's a mating dance. Um, cancers, you could be trying to get someone's attention, so we could, someone could be trying to get your attention. Either way, or you could do it with another Cancer, just saying, not necessarily. Um, I feel like you are getting a lot of attention right now. Um, but there's this, like, I feel a little bit of a block, though, between you and these people or you and this particular love interest, okay? Whether that block is distance, emotional distance, or, you know, you just you just aren't interested. <laughs> or you just straight up, they're not interested. Um... I do feel blocked because I feel like one person really trying and the other person's like, oh shit, I was like, do not fall. We are not starting two minutes in with the, my camera falling. Like, and I feel the other person's just like standing there like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if we should do this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so it's really interesting, Cancer, because it, it almost feels a little bit like unrequited love situation, but I feel like both parties are interested. I have to be honest with what I'm getting intuitively. I feel like both parties are fairly interested, but there's some kind of block going on, whether it's miscommunication, distance, other people, who knows, other cultural differences. There's some kind of block going on here between you and this love interest or you and these suitors, Cancer. And like I said, for some of you, you definitely have multiple people who are interested in you, Cancer, okay? But you either don't know what to do with it or you're just like not feeling it or you're not trusting. There's a block. Either way, there's a block going on here, okay? Oh, sorry, they're bringing my attention to something. I don't, hmm. Sorry, I'm talking to my guides. I don't think crabs do that to confuse predators. I'm pretty sure they just hide in camouflage. But my guides are, my guides are telling me predator. Like a threat. Cancer, regardless if you're the one doing the pursuing, or the one who's like avoiding <laughs> whichever whichever you're you know whichever group you're in I think that for some of you there is a sense of like trickery or like manipulation trickstery energy and maybe that's why you're not really moving forward or maybe that's why one person's like I don't know about you I don't know about this I feel a little bit of like a predator trickstery kind of energy all of a sudden with this Oh, okay. Cancer, some of you just might not trust this person, or some of you might feel like someone's trying to manipulate you, or emotionally manipulate you, or sexually manipulate you. Um, yeah, there's definitely that energy going on for some of you. So, I mean, you'll know who you are. You'll know who you are. But Cancer, that's all I was really getting for you guys for October 1st to the 11th. Otherwise, I feel like you guys are just really focused on you. A lot of people, a lot of my Cancerians are focused on their pentacles, especially with the holidays coming up. But yeah, Cancer, you're just attracting a lot of attention right now. A lot of attention. Oh, <laughs> someone's in heat. Someone's in heat, Cancer. Someone's very turned on. Pretty sure it's the pursuer. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the pursuer. Whoever's really turned on here. I just got a huge wave of sexual energy. Oh, it's actually making me lightheaded. Oh, okay. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, someone is really, really turned on by you or you're really turned on by somebody. <sighs> cancer i don't want to be in this energy too long you're my first sign of the day <laughs> okay got a lot of videos i gotta do i just just took it just took a shower i don't need another shower okay all right so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle keep in mind the pre-shuffle um can be messages that don't always correspond to the reading itself because we're just calibrating the energy so sometimes it's extra messages it usually does correlate though it usually does correlate Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Ooh, ooh, they're giving me dates, 8th and the 10th and the 3rd. 
the third, the eighth, and the tenth. Different dates for different people, for sure. That's for sure. Different dates for different people, okay? Keep in mind, guys, time is not linear. Everything is subject to change because we do have free will, and we've gone, we're still going through timeline changes as well, okay? Mm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for cancer. I'm seeing a torch. Why am I seeing a torch? It's got a very Ace of Wands feel. I'm feeling a lot of that sexual energy with that. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of that sexual energy with that. Cancer, either you or someone you're connected to lights you up or you light someone up. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. Wow. Oh, oh, got our first card. Page of Pentacles. Someone's watching. Oh, Cancer, we are not going there just yet. We're not going there just yet. Uh, someone like someone likes to watch. Someone likes to watch. God dang it. Cancer, this is too early for this. Someone really likes to uh, look at pictures. Look at pictures. You can get your porn on. I'm not, you know, no judgment here. Um, but I feel like someone is actually like looking at pictures of somebody. I feel like someone's actually looking at pictures of somebody or videos, videos of someone. The Page of Pentacles in this deck for me is like the spy card. You know, it's like, cause she's coming out of that veil. She's coming up from outside. She's got that very intent focused look on her face. Uh, and it's, it's, I keep getting this energy of like pictures and videos. Someone really likes to, um, someone really likes to watch. They just really like to watch. Uh, I also feel, I also feel communication coming in here. I feel a lot of communication. There's also an invite out for a date as well because it is pentacles, it's tangible, and it is a page, it is about communication first and foremost. So it could be like an invite out for a date or talking on the phone. It's like where you hear the person's voice, where you're hearing the person's voice. But someone's been watching. I'll put it that way, Cancer. If you're getting approached, they've been watching. Okay? They've been watching. Wow. Okay. Um, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, summonizing Venus and Jupiter. Getting a lot of um, sun energy, like the sun card. Oh, that feels good, though. I like that. That feels good. That feels good. Uh, it's almost like, um, oh, this is weird. <laughs> I'm getting a physical sensation. Um, it's gonna sound strange, but like, you know when you eat soup? I know, where am I going with this, right? Like, you know when you eat soup and you feel that warmth like all the way down your body? That's kind of what I'm getting with this. I'm, I'm telling you, Cancer, you or someone you're connected to really got the hots, really got the hots, really in heat, really gotta do something about it as well. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. I'm also getting a very earthy energy. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, you could have earth in your chart. Just for Taurus. Any message? Ooh. Three of Cups in reverse, can't see your energy. Yeah, someone feels like they're watching you from afar. They feel like, they don't feel like they can come together with you for some reason. I think that's why there's this block. There's a weird block here between you and this person or person. Some of you, it's multiple suitors. And I feel like that's why they're kind of watching from the outside, watching from afar, trying to get your attention <laughs> from afar. Again, you could be doing this with somebody. Yeah, like whoever this is, Cancer, I really feel like there's someone pursuing you. Whoever this is, Cancer, they're not in your immediate environment is what I'm getting, like physical environment. They're not immediately there for whatever reason or another. So they're just watching. And for some, they're watching pictures and videos. Getting frisky with it. <laughs> Please bring forth messages. <laughs> Sorry. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. October 1st to the 11th. Ah, ah, too early for the sexual energy. I gotta focus, sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm actually trying to push it out now because now it's distracting. Please report the messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for cancer. And there's the sexual energy, devil, Capricorn energy. Like I said, I was also sensing earth energy as well. Uh, it's a lot of sexual energy. There's a lot of sexual energy. Like I said, Cancers, for those who are getting approached, some of you are not trusting of the other energy. Some of you are wondering if they're just manipulating you through sex or trying to emotionally manipulate you. It's just, it's a thought. It's a thought. I can't really pinpoint if it's fact, but it's what's going on in your head. It's what's going on in your head. <laughs> Knight of Cups, my sea energy kills me water or fire. Look at that. Mm. 
What did I say? You're getting pursued and they got the hots. They've got the serious hots for you. Oh God, okay. It's like dizzying. It's actually making me lightheaded. All right, we've got a few other cards out here. I wanna see if we get any others. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. That's weird, they showed me the game. They showed me the game show. I mean, there is the Wheel of Fortune card, but they actually showed me the game show. Why'd they show me the game show? Gamble. Oh, okay, gamble, thank you. Oh yeah, I'd say that's a gamble. I'd say that's definitely a gamble right there. Knight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, could also be Aries or Leo with the Magician, Mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius or Scorpio for me as a reader with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is also Divine Masculine energy, whoever resonates with that. Yeah, Cancer, you're, yeah. You're, you're wondering if this person's just a trickster. Like I said, that's the energy I was picking up on. You're wondering if they're just a player, but with the Ten of Pentacles, I would say they're not, okay? This could be happening in the workplace because we do have a lot of Pentacles and Earth energy here, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, but this is, a, this is being perceived as a very player energy, but a player energy doesn't come with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate stability. Ultimate stability, ultimate security, um, long haul kind of energy very hard to tear down a ten of pentacles it takes a lot of time to tear down tear down a ten of pentacles okay yeah cancer whoever this is is coming at you a lot of love a lot of heat <laughs> a lot of heat a lot a lot of heat it's like it's too much <laughs> it's too much um but they're coming with a ten of pentacles energies and they've been watching you from the outside is kind of what i'm getting again a lot of that like pictures and videos and shit that i was picking up on um so Cancer, I understand your concern because there is so much heat that it's like, how do you tame heat? You can't really tame heat, but they're also coming with love and stability. I mean, look at this, love and stability here, okay? Like I said, for some of you, this could also be part of like a, a workplace kind of scenario, but it doesn't have to be. So Cancer, again, I understand your concerns, but a player doesn't come with a ton of pentacles, just saying, okay? Um, but you have the right to be worried, so take your time. Try to take your time with it. You don't gotta like, fall into anything super fast, right? Oh, Cancer. Okay. Let's get started on your reading here, all right? For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these are very general readings. Not all messages are for everybody. As you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who need them. We are working with energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine, feminine energy, and this is just a time-framed reading. Time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're guided to watch this. Any other questions or information you want to know about me the channel tarot whatever uh just look below you'll find a lot of stuff okay let's get started cancer oh, yeah. <laughs> any messages for cancer regard am i gonna be able to get through this reading any messages for cancer regarding love october 1st to the 11th you're really being caught off guard is also what i'm getting to cancer that might also be why you're kind of like mm, i don't know if i can move forward it might also be why you're you're acting like that because cancers don't like to be caught off guard they don't like it what happens when you approach a crab unexpectedly they they run and hide right i mean it's just what happens right it's just what happens when cancers get like when cancers get energy that's coming on too strong sometimes they can really retreat any messages for cancer any messages for cancer Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Any messages for cancer? Regarding love, October 1st to... <laughs> Sorry. I don't need to see that. I saw some of y'all getting busy. I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. Um, enjoy, but I don't need to see that. Any messages for cancer? Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. This person could also have a lot of money. Sorry, they're giving me a download. Um, with that Ten of Pentacles energy, they could actually just be wealthy. They could just be wealthy, okay? Ooh, now we have the Page of Pentacles. Now it's in reverse, though. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. Even though they're watching you and they're reaching out, you're kind of, like, backing out. They're coming, and you're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's funny. Any messages for Cancer? Regarding love? Cancer, like I said, some of you have suit... suit as I said that, suit, suit, suitors. This came out, nine of pentacles in a verse, Virgo energy with a seven of cups, scorpionic energy, and they don't like that. They don't like that. 
Ooh. There's so much freaking hate in this reading. It's ridiculous. Um, this person knows you have suitors, Cancer, and that you're about to be taken off the market. They're worried you might be taken off the market soon. I don't think you... I think you like the attention you're getting, but you don't like being bombarded. So I think that's also why you're kind of just backing up, backing up, backing up, and trying to not get overwhelmed by the amount of attention that some of you are getting. Um, but definitely there's one very prominent energy here who's really got the hots for you, who's really intent on coming in here. And they see that you have suitors, they can tell you have suitors. Even if you're trying to be sly about it, they can tell you have suitors and they ain't happy about it. But it, it's interesting. It's like they're almost getting like... Why does this seem so sexy? Because <laughs> they're getting envious, but it's like, they might even tell you this cancer, that they don't like it, but for whatever reason, that still leads to like a turn on situation. I don't know, Can cancer, what are you doing to me? Uh, any other messages for cancer? Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking when cancer is about to be taken off the market. Ooh, there's the block. Mm-hmm. There's the block that I was sensing. Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy with the Three of Swords, Libra energy. Could be third-party situation, doesn't have to be. But like I said, Cancer, you got a lot of suitors here. I really felt, I'm really picking up strongly on Cancers that are about to be taken off the market or have high potential to be taken off the market relatively soon. There's an energy that's watching. Very not happy about that either. But with the Three of Swords, there, there there's a very uncomfortable situation going on here, Cancer. And it's creating a block. It's creating a block between you and this main energy. I'm going to say this main energy because I can tell a lot of you do have suitors or are getting a lot of attention, even if you're trying to ignore that. Ignore, ignore that. Oh, Cancer, you're making me dizzy. Any messages for Cancer regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Cancer regarding love? And the fact that you are getting so much attention, Cancer, might be pushing this person a little bit more to make sure that they snatch you up before someone snatches you up any messages for cancer regarding love oh we got a peeker how did i miss that oh strength leo energy oh, oh. sorry i got a lot of energy with this one i got control and then it was like almost like a race for control a race for power a race for claiming uh yeah i feel like this main energy is really going to try hard to come in and get control of the situation. Overall energy, interesting. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh yeah, underneath that we've got the Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. This is this person that this is the person that's watching you, Cancer. This is the person that's getting a little envious that you have some suitors that are coming after you. But like I said, there is a block. This is the block between you two. Whether you just don't trust them, whether there's too many people involved, or it's just become very uncomfortable to deal with, okay? This person's not really telling you anything right now, though. I can tell. They're not really saying a whole lot. They're not telling you how much they want to build with you. They actually want to build. They want to be a team. Like I said, some of you, this is someone in the workplace. We have pentacles here again, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. But yeah, the, yeah, this person's just not telling you what they want right now. Why aren't they come? They're not coming in because of this block, whatever this block is. Whatever this block is, it's keeping both of you from coming together. But they're trying to get your attention. It's like they're trying to get your attention without telling you what they want. It almost feels like playing hard to get, to be honest with you. Yeah, I guess that would be playing hard to get, right? Like, I'm not going to outright tell you what I want but I'm gonna try to get your attention and make sure you remember me, <laughs> right? It's that kind of energy and you do have options here and they just really don't like it. So let's go ahead and look at the Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Here, excuse me. Uh, he's right or wait for this one. So I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love. So I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer, October 1st to the 11th. Is this nostalgia? What is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> Just saw someone's fantasy. So I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I was like, where are we going with this? Oh, that's where we're going with this. <laughs> Oh god, Cancer, this person like fantasizes about you a lot. A lot. A lot. So I got Page of Pentacles in reverse. For Cancer. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles 
Cancer regarding love. October 1st to the 11th. Tell me this page of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me the page of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Yeah, Cancer, I do feel you like kind of closing yourself off. Oh, what did I say? Watching from the outskirts. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Definitely watching from the outskirts. They feel like you're far from them. They feel like you're kind of out of their reach a little bit. It's making them really want to come in more. Tell me the page of Pentacles in reverse. Woo! Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. You could have turned this person down, Cancer. Seriously, you could have already turned this person down, but this is this person ready to just to just end the outskirt energy, to end whatever this little block is that's between the two of you. They can't stand watching you with other people. They can't stand the fact that you have options, Cancer. They can't stand it, especially because they fantasize about you so much. They can't they can't get you out of their head. They can't get you out of their head either. Tell me the page of pentacles in reverse. Time out the page of pentacles in reverse for cancer. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Three of pentacles, Capricorn energy, page of swords. What did I say? Watching. And ten of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah. This person is watching you with other people or another person or just in your own life, you know, going about your day to day because the three of pentacles can also be like the Monday and everyday energy. And the page of swords are watching you and very unhappy about what they're seeing. They're unhappy about what they're seeing. They're unhappy that they're away from you. They're unhappy that they can't indulge in their fantasies with you or they can't indulge in what they want with you. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And like I said, they do want to build. They do want to build with you. Overall energy, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Two of Pentacles underneath that. Capricorn energy. Oh, and then we've got the Six of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Yeah, Cancer, like I said, um, a lot of you do have some suitors. They could perceive you as someone who's juggling, not necessarily. Um, like I said, there could also be a third party situation on their end, juggling, and they want to make that right and balance things out. Either way, they want what they, they want what they want. They want what they want. And it doesn't seem like they're going to have any peace until they get what they want. Cancer? <sighs> they're not going to have any peace until they get what they want. And they want you. They want you. That's all they want. <laughs> they want to build with you. Oh, jeez. They want to build with you. They might not be saying it, but that's what they want. And let me go into this energy where like you have a lot of options. Like I said, you're about to be taken off the market. I think you're actually overwhelmed by options, but you. But at the same time, it's like you are kind of ready for that. Like you are kind of ready to be committed. You are kind of ready to be monogamous, but you, you like the energy you're getting, but some of you are overwhelmed by it. Some of you are overwhelmed by it, which is why you're kind of taking a step back and just kind of like, let me think about my situation. You know, that's what some of you guys are doing. And then we get to the block between you and this main energy. Like I said, some of you guys got other people. They could even have another person. I do sense that's the case for some of you. Uh, let's look at this three of swords. Let's look at the three of swords here. Use this one. And then we'll get into strength. So I have the three of swords. What about this block? Time of the Three of Swords. Time of the Three of Swords. They're holding on to you tight. I'm getting a Four of Pentacles energy. They're really holding on to you tightly. Ooh, got a lot of Pentacles here. Time of the Three of Swords. I'm so three of Pentacles. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer. Regarding love. October 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Cancer regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Like I said, some of you have a lot of suitors. Others of you, you just have one other energy you're dealing with. But this person can't get you out of their head. They can't. Tell me about the Three of Swords. I definitely also feel a case where both of you have people. That's interesting. Where both of you have people. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Page of Swords, watching. Again, whatever they're doing, they're watching you so closely, Cancer. And it's just causing them more discomfort. 
and more pain, like being away from you because they're watching you so closely. Um, and like I said, others, there could be a third party situation or a four party situation because I feel some like some of you have a person and they've got a person. Others, there's just another extra person in the midst here. And there's a group of you where you have a lot of options. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Sag Energy. The burden of watching is getting to be a lot here, okay? I also feel a need to communicate. Like, I really feel that strongly. A real need to, like, talk about the discomfort. Almost feels like a big, fat, pink elephant in the room. Like, are we going to talk about this? Are we not going to talk about this? Are we going to talk about what we're seeing? Am I going to talk about what I'm seeing? Are they going to talk about what they're seeing? Are they going to talk about what they're feeling? Are they going to talk about what they want? It's very burdensome. It's very burdensome. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer. Or like if you've seen that like they have someone or if they've seen that you have someone, you're not talking about that. <laughs> for some of you, that's the big pink fat elephant. The other people in your lives. Time of the Three of Swords. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer. But yeah, can Cancer, I'm telling you, with this main energy, I do feel a big sense of resistance on your part, though. Ooh. Yeah, Two of Cups in Reverse. Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy. And like I said, Cancer, this person could have rejected you or you could have rejected them, and that could also be part of the discomfort here. I can feel your resistance to this person. Something might have happened. Oh, let's see. Let's see what else we get. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer. Time of the Three of Swords for Cancer regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Come on. <sighs> Judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. This is about ending connections because it's too burdensome. Cancer, that could be the big, pa big, <laughs> big pink fat elephant. Regardless of how many people are involved in this situation, it's become too burdensome because there's too many people involved, okay? Uh, just straight up. There's too many people involved here. There's you and this main energy. Some of you have a lot of options. Some of you have one option. And some of you, this other person has an option. That's too many people. That's too many. That's at least three at a minimum. That's, that's too many. That's too many, right? Some connections got to be dropped here. It's too burdensome. That's the big pink fat elephant. Tell me about the three of swords. Oh, shit. And there's the tower. Yep, there it is. Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy with uh, the tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars, right? Yeah, there's a tower that's trying to come down here because there, there's too many people. Too many goddamn energies. Uh, the tower will come down when this happens, all right? So, which I think is also why uh, this... Gee, why am I stuttering? <laughs> this person might make you stutter. Um... I think that's also why strength is out here, because control needs to happen. Damage control. Thank, wow, thank you. Damage control needs to happen in this situation, okay? Overall energy, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. and no, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, that's crazy. <laughs> Some of you could have Cappy in your chart, or you could have Cappy in your chart, or you could be dealing with the cap, doesn't matter. We did get the Devil earlier. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I'm getting overwhelmed with this. I don't even get, like, mad. I don't even get upset. I'm just actually getting overwhelmed overwhelmed and then we have page of pentacles underneath that the watcher the watcher the pursuer the mating caller <laughs> that's a weird way to say that um yeah overwhelmed by offers yeah the, yeah cancer you are overwhelmed by this situation and it's catching you so off guard and you kind of know that connections need to come to an end at least one connection maybe even more because it's become too burdensome I feel like the truth will come out here about what this person wants with you and that's going to make you feel really burdened and that's going to bring in the tower. That's totally going to bring in the tower. I feel a lot of stress with this. Let's look at the tower in reverse and then we'll look at the strength card. Uh, actually, let's do Lenormand for this one. Yeah, let's do Lenormand for this one. Talk about the tower in reverse. So I have the tower in reverse. Some of you have quite the history with this main energy, this king of swords. Some of you have a really intense uh, history. Some, uh, some of you don't. Just had to say that for confirmation. I can just feel for some of you, it's been a very on and off situation for a very long time. Others, it's been kind of like a, uh, uh, 
a very, sorry, all that sexual energy just came in. Um, a situation that's gone on for a few months. Time of the tower in reverse. Time of the tower in reverse. Time of this tower moment for cancer regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. Got the rider with the stork. Energy of one, and then this energy 17 breaking down to an eight with the queen of cups, cancer, and the nine of cups. Yeah, someone's about to spill their guts. Someone's about to spill their guts. The stork is a very feminine energy. It's a very fertile energy. It's also an energy about change. It's also an energy about change, but someone is like, I feel, I really feel strongly someone's spilling their guts on what they want. And that's causing the tower. That's causing the overwhelm. That's causing the stress. Whatever this block is, whatever this big pink fat elephant is, it's about to be discussed. It's about to be discussed. And Cancer, that's gonna rock your world. Oh yeah, see the, the mice. That's gonna rock your world here. 23 breaking down to a five with the seven of wands. Defensive, what did I say? It's gonna make you retreat. It's gonna make you go, oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what I wanna do with this. That's how it's gonna make you feel. I feel almost feel panic with this and a lot of anxiety. Oh boy, okay. So what else we got here? Tell me more about the tower in reverse. Tell me more about the tower. Tell me more about this tower moment. Yeah, this is very, it's stressing me out. Uh, let's see, overall energy. Oh, wow. <laughs> what did I say about anxiety? Got the nine of swords here. Is that the king? No, ooh, with the queen of swords. Queen of swords to the king of swords. Got a true pair situation here. Anchor is 35, you got another eight to the nine, so progression energy. Anchor with the bouquet, that's actually like, oh wow. No wonder you're stressed, you're gonna be stressed about this cancer. This person's gonna spill their guts, and part of this energy of spilling their guts of what they're gonna tell you, the anchor is about permanence. It is. It's about permanence, it's about being settled into something, being so bonded to something, but with the bouquet, that's a gift. Bouquet is a gift. It's like, it's blessing energy and here's you with your anxiety <laughs> you with your anxiety this person might even tell you like you're the one and you're gonna be like oh I don't know about that <laughs> sorry sorry for the cross watcher sorry I'm just the messenger I'm just the messenger here let's see what else is under this Ooh. okay oh cancer oh my oh my okay I'm just gonna show you these other cards and we're gonna move on to the strength card the tree with the bridge, the house, and the key. Key is unlocking. Key is like opening doorways, okay? Uh, tree is like a slow a slow building of something. It's also indicative of family. House is exactly how it sounds. It's domestic energy with the king of cups to the queen of cups. We have the king of swords with the queen of swords and the king of cups with the queen of cups. Very much true pair energy. We also have seven of cups, six of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Putting in a lot of work in something victoriously. Uh, the bridge can also be fate. It could also be something that's inevitable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, cancer, this person's pretty convinced that this is supposed to happen. And they're finally going to tell you. And they're finally going to spill their guts. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh, something I am noticing, even though, Cancer, like I said, you are coming up, you are coming up as the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords here, um, to the King of Swords and the... Jesus. We have true pairs for the king and queen of cups and swords, okay? But in Lenormand deck, when you have court cards coming out, they can in, um, indicate different situations here, okay? We have a queen, we, we have a red queen, a black queen, and a red king. When you have two queens of a different suit without any other queens present, it usually indicates rivalries and love, okay? And like I said, some of you, you've got a, pr no, you guys do have another option. I can feel it. You guys have another option. Some of you have multiple options. And some of you, this king has an option, okay? Someone's getting chosen here. Someone's getting chosen. It's a little intense. It's a little intense, Cancer. All right, anyway. So let's move on to the strength card where we gain control of the situation, okay? Because this, kind of, this is kind of a clusterfuck, Cancer. It's a little bit of a clusterfuck, even for me. It's very overwhelming, especially with sexual energy. So let's look at the strength card. Mm. Yeah, we'll go for Gilded. Can't go wrong with Gilded. Then we'll pull some advice. Tell me about strength. 
tell you about strength. Tell me about strength for cancer. Regarding love. Ooh, ow. Regarding love. Ow, that was weird. Didn't know I could injure myself shuffling tarot cards. Tell me about strength. For cancer. Wow. I'm just... Uh, cancer, I'm amazed. What did you do to this person? <laughs> what did you do to them? <laughs> Tell me about strength. For cancer. Regarding love. October 1st to the 11th. Tell me about strength for cancer. Oh, that was weird. My phone just glitched out. I don't know if it recorded it, but that's weird. <laughs> Chariot. Cancerian energy. Could we deal with a, a Cancer Leo Cusper? You could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Just saying. Doesn't have to be. Um, but this is moving forward. Gaining control to move the situation along as pe pe as peacefully as peacefully excuse me as peacefully as possible. Chariot is also like you know it's Cancerian energy. It's the house of hearth, hearth and home, with that King of Cups energy as well. Um, some of this could be gaining control in order to move into a commitment because Cancer. I'm seriously picking up on Cancers that are about to be taken off the market in one way or another. <laughs> that damn Page of Swords again. Um, I feel like this is more about that communication. Yeah, someone's basically just saying, look, I've been watching you. I've been thinking about this. I know what I want. I want commitment. Cancer, I, I, would be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you're speechless, honestly. Tell me about strength. Ooh, and then we've got that King of Cups. Now he's in reverse though. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Why is he in reverse? Oh, outpouring. Thank you. Spilling their guts. That's why. Spilling their guts. Spilling out emotion. Tell me about strength. They're being honest, though. Page of Swords with the King of Cups in reverse. That's honesty. It, a lot of people read the King of Cups in reverse as an emotional manipulator. But with the Page of Swords, that's honesty. They're just spilling their guts. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for cancer regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Hold on, I got a peeker. Where'd you go? Let's see. Oh, ooh, ooh. Three of Wands in reverse Aries energy. They're spilling their guts because they're afraid they're about to lose you to someone else. That's why they're spilling their guts. They're, they, I feel like they're the ones gaining control of the situation. They're trying to gain control of the situation, trying to snatch you up, trying to claim you because they feel like they're about to lose you. Overall energy, three of cups, Cancerian energy, celebration, rejoicing, and coming together. They want you, Cancer, and they don't want you to get away. It, it, it's super clear. They don't want you to get away. They know you're a catch. They know you're getting attention, and it's making them a little envious, making them a little jealous, and they know what they want. They can't stop thinking about you. They want what they want. They want what they want. Let's go ahead and pull some advice here. Where are we at? Oh, 38 minutes. Oh, we're okay. Oh. Cancer. I wish you luck, my friend. <laughs> I wish you luck in this. Oh, what a clusterfuck. Any advice for my cancers? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? They can't stand being away from you. Oh, God. I'm like, what am I picking up on here? Oh, more of that sexual energy. They just want to touch you. <laughs> Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Yeah, they just want to be next to you. Oh, that's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. They just want to be next to you. They just want to be in your energy. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? You're so overwhelmed, Cancer. I can feel it. You have like so much anxiety. Even as I'm telling you about this, you're getting, you have anxiety. I can sense it. Ay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Trust your gut, Cancer. It's actually what I'm getting. Trust your gut. 
this person's pretty convinced so it's really just how you feel about it and you might feel too overwhelmed to make a decision so so take some time like i said you don't gotta jump into anything you know just take your time and try to decide what's best for you any advice for my cancers regarding this spread any advice for my cancer god come on now okay thank you Kids, remember I was saying they're pretty convinced that this is inevitable? We've got the blueprint card, Cancer. It's supposed to happen this way. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. 35, breaking down to an 8. No matter what you decide, Cancer, this situation, you signed up for this. You signed up for this situation. You signed up for this person to come in this way. It's part of your blueprint. It's supposed to happen. Okay, it's supposed to happen either to teach you a lesson or to be with this person. It's going to be different for everybody, but it's part of your blueprint. Okay, interestingly enough, we have koi fish spirit. There is always enough. 36 breaking down to a nine. This is about scarcity mindset. Oh, I'm sorry. I just heard the sweetest thing. You're all I need. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, 35 to 36, that's progression energy as well. Cancer, I'm telling you, some guys are gonna, some of you are gonna end up with this person. As as strongly as they believe it's inevitable, some of them are, are right. <laughs> some of them are right. Um, it's like I'm also getting something about materials here. I think this person you're connecting with might have been focused on materials at one point, or like money, or building up their nest egg, like you know the three dimensional stuff, the material stuff. Um, God, I feel like I picked this up in the monthly on Patreon too. Anyway, Cancer. Um, oh god watching you being around you knowing you talking to you wanting you all all of that all all of that all that stuff regarding you in their life and how you've affected them it's kind of like you've made them realize how empty a lot of that stuff is wow cancer what did you do to them what did you do <laughs> seriously what did you do to this person it's it's it i'm 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 kind of flabbergasted this is like really intense like this is really intense energy. Not to sound cheesy, but it's kind of like love. First of all, love is never enough when it comes to relationships, but love is very necessary to be happy. And you make this person really happy. Wow. Any advice for my cancers? Oh, giraffe spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to an 11. What did I say? Trust your gut. This is an intu intuition card. Intuition card intuitive card using your intuition to really understand all the components of what's going on here to really go about all of your options because a lot of you do have options not just one option and really to get a, an understanding of what's best for you taking that step back right taking your head out of it looking at everything and being like okay this is how i really feel about it this is what makes sense this is what my heart feels this is what my head's saying Okay, I know how to make this decision. Take a step back, Cancer, because you're going to need to. Do not make this decision from an overwhelmed state. Oh, what did I just say? Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. Yeah, taking that step back to really gain perspective on the situation, to understand what's best for you in this, to understand if this person's really for you or if they're not for you. Because some of you, like I said, it is about a lesson. It is about a lesson. Some of you, that lesson is, hey, you're gonna get more offers. You don't have to settle. For some of you, that is one of your lessons, okay? Others, it's also just the fact this person is like, you're all I need. Because love is all I need is kind of how this person feels. Um, but like I said, guys, when it comes to relationships, love is never enough. Trust me on that. Love is never enough. It takes a lot more than that to make a healthy, balanced, long-lasting relationship. Um, but yeah, some of you, it's just a lesson. Some of you will end up with this person. You have to gain that perspective to understand what's best for you. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Oh my God, of course they would. Oh, 1122 on the oven. Are you guys ready for it? Okay, I'm gonna show you the card underneath it too. You ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Otter spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six and wombat spirit, be at home. Does that, ju does that just not scream cancer love right there? Uh, God. Uh, 68, that breaks down to a five. Five and six, we have progression energy again. For those who've been with me for a while, otter spirit is basically like my two of cups lovers, soulmate, yummy, kindred energy. It's like, I love you no matter what. I love you, I've got your back. It's unconditional love. Cancer. 
this person loves you unconditionally. And with Wombat Spirit, you make them feel at home. You make them feel safe. Wow. You make them feel safe. You make them feel more uh, secure as well. There's something about this energy where it's like, oh God, this is so sweet. Like you're home to them. You're home to them. I, I, uh, again, I wish you luck, my friends. <laughs> I wish you luck. Take that step back. Set those boundaries to take your time to figure out what's best for you. Think about all the options you have. Think about what choosing this person means. Think about what choosing this person means and keep in mind that this was supposed to happen. It is part of your blueprint to either learn a lesson or to actually be with this person. Okay? Cancer, good luck. Okay? <laughs> Good luck to you. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Cancer. Namaste.